understanding the fact that not everybody will like you i mean you can walk into a room and give a speech and not everybody will fancy it it's completely fine you are not ice cream you're not yogurt everybody cannot like you hey besties what's popping it's your girl zini i'm back again with another interesting and insightful video and yeah grab a cup of coffee juice or any of your favorite drink because it's about to get lit so guys the topic today is seven things one should know before turning 25 if you're following me on most of my active social media platform you know that i turned 25 last year october and since then guys it's been overwhelming like the pressure is getting worse <laughs> like it's getting worse literally i feel like every 25 year old out there should be able to relate because like we're not there mentally we want to still be babied we want to be pampered do you understand but the world wants us to appear like an adult that have their shit figured out that you know have their stuff put together i mean the pressure is high but it shouldn't always be like that it shouldn't even be like that you don't necessarily have to have your life figured out but then again you have to be more cautious with your life knowing that you're transitioning from being a teenager to an adult so there are some things that you need to start putting into consideration and those are the things i'll be mentioning in this video if you're over 25 years no knowledge is a waste to stick around you know you can still learn one or two from this video and then if you're yet to turn 25 gun gun this video is for you please stay tuned and enjoy it so without further ado let's get started guys i have my phone here because i do not want to miss out on any point so yeah let's get started in no particular order number one is preparing yourself for a more financially independent future guys we all want to be financially secured like everybody wants that kind of you know freedom where you're still in bed and you're getting credit a lot i mean you get to travel the world with your loved ones at will when you want so i mean it's it doesn't just happen like this i mean this it, it comes from years of you know hard work smart work you know grabbing opportunities you get utilizing every potential that god has given to you i mean don't sleep on yourself you know look around you search for opportunities anything that can fetch you money so long as you're not hurting anybody and you're not going against your core values and principle as human, you're good to go. Guys, and you also need to know that a source of income doesn't cut it anymore. You need to have multiple streams of income. No pressure. You can start with one, but have at the back of your mind that you need to also look out for other means of getting money. Another way is to save, guys. You are transitioning from being a teenager to an adult so you don't have to spend like a teenager you have to learn to save if that need is not so important keep the money don't spend lavishly i mean your parents will not always have to foot your bills because you're becoming an adult so you have to learn to save number two is know the role spirituality plays in your success that's basically knowing the essence of spirituality speaking from a christian point of view yeah i was born into a christian home and it feels it felt like a burden because my parents always want us to pray go to church fast you know do midnight prayers and all the all the stuff that come with being a christian at the time it felt like a burden but right now oh i got to a certain age where i realized that they were doing us a whole lot of good christianity is very important having a relationship with god is key in fact for the fact that you believe christ died for us means that you already have a relationship with him now what you need to nurture is a kind of fellowship where you go back to him where you pray you make him the center of everything the center of your existence you know before you carry out anything 
commit it into the hands of God. The Bible said, I think in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3, commit all your plans into the hands of God and he will prosper them. Do you understand? So being a Christian, you're having that relationship with God. It gives us this hope. It gives us this feeling that we are not alone. There is always somebody there to direct us, to guide us. And being a Christian and having a fellowship with Christ here yeah, will reduce your mistakes because He's going to give you the spirit of discernment. You'll be able to discern what to do, the decision to take. You know, it, it, it will just help you, you know, avoid some kind of mistakes, some kind of decisions, and just put you on the right track. So if you're here and you, you've not thought of building a sort of a relationship and fellowship with Christ, please start thinking about it and start working towards it because it pays a whole lot. It pays a whole lot. This point here, that's point number three, is learn how to distinguish yourself by taking responsibility. Guys, accountability, responsibility, and maturity are intertwined. They go hand in hand. You have to know that you are responsible for how your life turns out. You can't blame anybody. You cannot. Maybe your parents were not able to give you the best education. You blame them for that quite all right. But now you have the power to change things. You have the power to change everything about your life that you do not like. So every decision you make, be ready to bear the consequences. If you offend somebody, please apologize. If you, if you fuck up, Clean your mess. That is a sign of being mature. Do you understand? So learn to take responsibility. Learn to be held accountable for the things that you do. If you have at the back of your mind that my future is in my hands. I'm going to become a big man or a millionaire tomorrow. Based off of the decisions I make today, you will be very careful. You have to evaluate things. Think things through before you, you know, you take that step before you take that risk before you do anything you don't have to just be living life anyhow as it comes no you have to sometimes take a step back re-strategize evaluate things before you know you should so please be ready to be ready to you know bear the consequences so you have to learn to take responsibility of your action that way it will guide you on what to do and what not to do the next point as point number four is practice self-love on a deeper level this cannot be overemphasized you have to learn to love yourself on a deeper level by deeper level i mean you have to learn to love everything that makes up your makes up your existence you have to love your physique you have to love your head you have to love your body, your hand, your thighs, every part of you. I mean, back there in secondary school, I never, I never knew that I had big legs. I mean, it was through my classmates I knew that my legs were fat, and they call my legs. I think yam leg. They used to call me yam legs, and I'll go home and start telling my mommy, "Mommy, why will you give me this kind of legs? I do not like it." Blah 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 blah. It took me a whole lot of work to embrace myself. Now I am. I don't care about what anybody says about the legs. I'm gonna flaunt it. People say that my shoulders are like hangers. I mean, I have broad shoulders. I look like a man. That was what they always say. But right now, I do not care. I'm gonna rock it the way I want because it is my body. It is who I am. I can't change it for anything. Do you understand? And this goes beyond the the, the physical. It just has to do with. You know, appreciating yourself for whom you are. Understanding the fact that not everybody will like you. I mean, you can walk into a room and give a speech and not everybody will fancy it. It's completely fine. You are not ice cream. You are not yogurt. Everybody cannot like you. Personally, I don't even like chocolate. For a lot of persons, like a ton of people love chocolate. That is it. Everybody don't have to like you. You have to learn to appreciate yourself. Understand that you're going to win at some point. You're going to fail at some point. Understand the fact that you can be very knowledgeable about this, this particular topic and know little about another topic. It's completely fine. Do you understand? Seeking external validation is the worst thing that can ever happen to you. Because when you begin to seek validation from someone out there, you know what it does? It silences your own voice. You lose hold of whom you are. 
So stop seeking validation from people that their opinion don't even matter. They're going to project their fears into you and it's going to help you lose hold of whom you are. At the end of the day, you become sad because you're not living out your potentials. You're not doing what you're supposed to do. And don't get me wrong. Seeking validation and taking advice from somebody are two different things. Getting advice from somebody means you're, 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 you're trying to get first-hand information from someone that has been through that path, that has walked through that path sharing their own experience and mind you you don't have to pick everything they say to you when they give you the advice you have to filter it see it pick the few that you feel are important to you and let the rest be so guys you have to love yourself love your whole being and then understanding the fact that there's a part of you that is not so nice probably you have a bad character or your mannerism is poor or your attitude towards some things or your approach is bad Understanding the fact that yes, your approach is bad towards something and you're ready to work towards being a better person is purely self-love. That is the highest form of self-love. So please romanticize your life. Love yourself so much. Appreciate every step you take. Appreciate the fact that you're doing well. Pat yourself at the back because no one is going to do that. I mean, People want to tell you what to do, what not to do, what you should be doing, what you should not be doing and, and what not. You don't allow them, you know, control your life in that manner. You have to take charge. It is your life for a reason, all right? So learn to love yourself. The next point is you can't build your dreams alone. Get healthy relationships. It is very important. To build a healthy connection with people that share same vision and of like mind even the bible said it i mean god said it is not good for a man to be alone god created adam and he realized that adam was lonely and it's not exactly nice so he had to create eve i mean we have to build a good bond a good connection healthy relationship with people healthy relationship in the sense that it is void of any form of competition this loyalty is void of anything that has to do with them um, just unhealthy competition no you have to you have to form that that bond with people that want to support each other that are after each other's growth in every ramification of life that is a healthy relationship. And mind you, relationship goes both ways. It is a give and take kind of thing. You cannot be receiving and the other person be giving. No. If you want something to grow, you have to nurture it. You have to water it. So you have to bring your own quota. The other persons bring their own quota to make the relationship healthy. So guys, create that bond find your people when you have a good relationship with people yeah a good healthy bond and connection with people it helps shorten your journey if you're supposed to travel 50 kilometers to get a particular thing when you have the right people around you to support you sometimes you end up traveling like 25 or 30 kilometers and some days because you will not always be high high there's some days where you are at your lowest Having the good, having the good circle, having good people around you will help you put yourself back in track. The days that self-doubt or imposter syndrome want to creep in, those guys will be there to support you, to help you get back on your feet. So learn to build healthy relationship. The next point is enjoy more reward by learning to take more risks. You don't always have to play it safe. People that play it safe don't go far in life. Take it from me. If you always want to be in your comfort zone, you don't want to go above or you don't want to go outside what you're used to. You might keep winning, but you will not be, you know, manifesting the full potentials that you have inside of you. So learn to take risks, learn to leave your comfort zone, learn to take up challenges, try new things. I mean, there's some hidden traits in you that you've not given the time to find expression. When you try different things, you realize that it's not exactly as bad as you think. And you realize that you're actually very good at something. It just needs time for you to nurture it. 
So don't always play it safe. I used to be the chief of playing it safe. I don't want things to go outside what I'm used to. And guess what? It did not help me. So me filming this video right now, it's me going out of my comfort zone. So you get it. Do that thing. Anything you feel like you want to do, we have time. Okay, we're 25 years old and it feels like time is it. But no, we've got time in our hands. Try different things. You never know the one that is going to work out at the end of the day. Those things that you do casually end up becoming what is going to give you that visibility you need. End up, end up becoming what is going to put food on your table in the long run. So don't be scared to take risks, all right? Then the next one, that is all oh, the last point. That is the seventh point. There is no lay down rules to life. Rule out competition. It is self-explanatory. Why would you even think of comparing yourself with somebody? I am Izini. You are Elizabeth. You are Joseph. You are... I mean, there, there is a reason why we're different. And as we're all different, our paths in life are different. Our journey is different. So I can't be comparing myself with another person. It is not right. You're doing yourself a whole lot of service. By comparing yourself with someone you know what comparison does it limits you in every form because you're seeing success from the perspective of another person if my car is supposed to travel 300 km per hour and my friend's car travels 250 km per hour now when i get to that 250 km per hour i'm gonna stop there because I am seeing success from another person's point of view. Not knowing that my car is able to go further. It's able to travel 300 kilometers per hour. That is what comparison does. It limits you. your seeing success from another person's point of view. That is wrong. So please do not compare yourself with another person. We are all different. Our journey is different. Our purpose on earth is different. So you, 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 when, you, when you're busy comparing yourself with somebody, yeah, you know what it does? You don't get to see the good in you. You don't get to see the steps you're taking. You don't get to appreciate yourself. And, and how do you grow? You're not even giving what you have time for it to blossom. You're all up in another person's business. And that is wrong. So please avoid any form of competition. There is no laid down rules to this thing called life. There is no age brackets whereby if you don't build a house, if you don't buy that car, if you don't if you don't fly on private jets, then you're a failure. No. No, your success can come at 40. You can come at 30. Your breakthrough can come at 50. There is no laid down route to this thing called life. Oh my God. So stop the unhealthy comparison and competition. Be more spiritual. It's of the essence. It is very important. Spirituality is key. Love yourself. Take more risks. You know, learn to save. It's going to help you. Learn to get multiple sources of income, guys. Finally, we've come to the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something new from it. Please, if you did, share this video to your friends, your family members, you know, just share it so other persons can learn. You cannot keep all of this wisdom to yourself. Don't be selfish. So share my video, like, subscribe, comment, please the comments, subscribe and comment, leave nice comments for me. I love to read them. It motivates me. Yes. <laughs> so guys i'll see you in my next video bye besties love you it was just a misunderstanding